Dave, it's been a few years since you've tasted victory here at the TT, but it is your sole goal of the year, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's my main event, and uh, I don't do as much racing as maybe I used to, but um, yeah, TT's main goal. And what do you have to do to stop the Birchalls? <laughs> Simple, just be better than them. But uh, easier said than done. Uh, they've got a fantastic team connection, everything, bikes, engines. They've got a great team gelled together, and uh, whereby they've gone like maybe a route that I don't take, uh, maybe that's what goes against me a little. I, I don't know. But uh, I'll try, I'll try, yeah. You very much do your own thing and you switched to Yamaha last year and you're staying with that for 20 Yeah, years. yeah, the engine's good. I'm happy with the engine and uh, I built a new bike, new bodywork, new, whole new, well, it, it's, I've resurrected some old ideas from a long time back just to try and get a bit more aerodynamic and stability and so on in the bike, yeah. Straight line speed has been an issue on the speed trap times over the last couple of years. Have you done anything around that? Yeah, yeah, I focused on that pretty heavily. So um, I'm a bit sick of going as hard as I do around the corners. So I'm looking at going uh, super quick down the straights. And, and Dan on board as a passenger again? Yeah, Dan's great. You know, he's, he's got all the experience you'd, you'd expect from a guy who's won so many TTs. And um, he's a great asset to what I'm trying to do. The effort he put in last year after hurting his ribs was just amazing, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, incredible, yeah, tough lad. But um, yeah, that's that's what a, a top line racer is. You know, you'll you'll get up and shrug it off and try again. So what's the build up for you, two TT? Build up. I we'll start uh, first ride out on the new bike this Sunday down at Jerby Airfield. Uh, I've got some straight line testing at a, an air, airfield in England, a long airfield. Uh, see so we've achieved what we've set out to do, which is ultimate top speed. And then the usual having to qualify like a novice <laughs> for the TT with, your, with, your, with our license, you know. Um, so go and do a few club meetings and scratch around to get our tick on the box. That will also give you mileage. Y yeah, it's a bit meaningless miles, so, but it's, like I said, tick in the box. And then get to practice week and, and, and really get into a flow, hopefully. Yeah, well, uh, for us, it's... It, well, for most people, there's no other circuit like it, but sidecars in particular, because uh, the nearest thing we get to this is a, a run around Snetterton or, you know, <laughs> a short circuit with, with a, uh, an eighth of a mile straight on it. You know, we, we, we don't get circuits with long straights like the Northwest 200 or the Ulster Grand Prix anymore. And ultimately, it's only TT wins really that matter to you, isn't it? Well, yeah, and uh, hey, it ain't going to change my life if I, if I do win another TT. Um, I'm definitely not greedy. Um, I've set out to achieve something through the bike I've built, not necessarily the the, the result. If, if I win a TT, it'll be great. But if I pull off another podium, that'll be equally as great. You know, uh, I'm 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 not finished, and and I'm not washed up or anything like uh, I think some of my closer competitors seem to think. But if it works good for us on the day, we can be there. You know. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.